Hi sweet souls, welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the Goose Tarot. Bye! I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, let me just open it up and we'll see. I still have it in the wrap. So here we have the Goose Tarot. I, again, I'm not too sure who authored it. <laughs> but I purchased this from Tevada Tarot. Yeah, it doesn't say who authored it, so I'm not, I'm, I can't, I can't say for sure. But look at this tech. It is so cute. Right off the bat, right off the bat, the cart, this is hefty deck, first of all. Right off the bat, it's really big, yeah. So many cards, but it's very, like, thick. The card stock. I want to say this is matte. So it's quite thin, actually. Yeah, it's, this is very thin. <laughs> like, you can bend it, but it's very thin. It's very flexible, so I feel like it's good if you want to rough shuffle it. But it is thin. It feels good. <laughs> and here's the back. Little goose. And then we'll just get right in. Yeah. I, this is a full tarot deck, 78. Or is there more? I think it's 78, yeah. Here we have the King of Wands. Oh, what am I doing? Here we have the King of Wands. Yeah, it's all goose themed, which is so cute. I saw, I think it was Fable's Den. Um, she had this, so. I saw it and I was like, wow, this is the cutest deck I've ever seen. And I went ahead and I got it from Tevada. Yeah, it is um, easily recognizable. You can tell like what card associates with which, with the like right away system, very easily. I actually, sometimes I'm not a fan of borders, but I feel like it works with this one just because the artwork is so nice. Oh, you can see here, little goose too. It's a nice touch. And then it has the associated suit up there. That's cute. Yeah. I just like the vibe. I like the cute vibes. I've been, I've been getting a lot of cute decks lately. Now the colors are really nice too. You don't see like this kind of color scheme a lot, which is really nice. And I'm living for this goose. <laughs> A nice ace of wands. King of swords. Now we're in the swords. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Wow. <laughs> look at this little goose dressed as a horse. <laughs> I really like this card. Looks good. Oh. Nine of Swords. And also, I'm just thinking, like, um, if it's reversed, you'll know. Because it's not. Like, this is facing up, this is facing down. So you'll know when it's reversed. Sometimes decks do that interchangeably, but this one doesn't, which is okay. I'm not mad about it. I love this tile though. Look at the little, the little mask on this goose. Oh, there's a baby duck. Baby goose. Geese are ducks. They're birds, right? They're birds. Yes, they're birds. They're with the duck family? 
Are there their own family? That I do not know. Oh, traditional. As it usually is, so. This is sick, I like that. <laughs> I really like when the swords are depicted. I feel like it's a good, oh, it's a good suit to really like create in your artwork. As they all are, but the swords to me are really interesting to see how they depict. Now we're in the cups. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. Yeah, I really like the quality of, of the... Oh, this card is lovely little chickies. I really like the quality of the cards. The art is gorgeous, as you can see. I like this. It just like paints a picture and gives you the little card. I like it a lot, honestly. I wouldn't change anything about it. And I'm glad it doesn't have gilding on it. Sometimes cards I wish they had gilding, but then some I'm like, I prefer if they didn't. And this is one where I'm like, I'm happy there's not gilding. I feel like it'd be too much. And the card, like, it themselves, like, it's already just great the way it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit I like the colors. He's a cat. This one follows me around too, he's a cat. <laughs> Pentacles. Oh, I'm excited for the majors. I didn't even didn't even go in my head. I'm loving just looking at all the cards. I love it a lot. Oh, you can even see the detailing here. That's really cool. Yeah, the artist did a great great work. Oh, it's, it was similar to the Knight of Cups. I think we just went through cups. Little cheekies, um, little beard. Sometimes I miss things, so I try to try to slow it down and look at the whole card. I'm just so excited to get through it, you know. And when I unbox them, that's the first time I see them, so. It's really exciting. New Teradex. Five of Pentacles. I like the colors on this. They really shine through. <laughs> what colors there? Ace of Pentacles. Now we have the majors, and they have the number up top, so in the world, love that. Judgment, little tooty toot, there. We have the sun, it's a nice one, like that. The moon, oh, that's cute, it's a nice moon. The star. The tower. The devil. <laughs> it's a funny devil. Temperance. Ooh, I like it. Here we have death. Oh. <laughs> the, the geese are just really funny to me in these depictions. They're just so, they, they, I feel like they got personality, you know? 
He had a lot of personality. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. It's a more simpler, tamer Wheel of Fortune, but I like it a lot. The Hermit. Strength. That's cute. I like this. Chariot. Lovers. Very cute. I've got the snake there. A hierophant. This is a nice hierophant. The emperor. Sick. Look at that. The colors. My goodness. Empress. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Here we have the High Priestess. Very nice High Priestess, my goodness, look at that. We have the Magician, love that. It's kind of similar to this up here. And finally, we have the Fool with a little baby chick, baby duck. That's cute. I like that. And that's the Goose Tarot. I really don't know who it's by, unfortunately. The author, for some reason, didn't include their name on the, on the box. Yeah, I wonder if you can shuffle it like... Yeah, you can. You can shuffle it like that if you wanted to. Yeah, great. Oh, it's a little too thin, I think. Really, it's really thick too. Lots of hurt. Yeah, the, the thinness might be a issue for me. Not a big issue, but it might be an issue to, depending how you shuffle it. It could bend. You gotta be careful with that. So, it's a little, it's good for small hands, but it's a little thick. Has most tarot decks. Or 70 cards. It's a lot of cards to. It's a lot of cards to, you know, have in your hands. Eight of Wands here. But I just realized there's no guidebook for this one either. <laughs> you can easily interpret them how you like Eight of Wands, but or any of them. But that's funny because the last one I just had the cat. The appreciate the cat appreciate one. That one also didn't have a guidebook. I think, you know, for Oracle ones, you should have a guidebook. So that is the cat, cat appreciate. This is the goose tarot. Again, I don't know the author. I'm so sorry to them. And I like it a lot. I will say the cards look like sometimes it's, look, it's sometimes it's good, but it's other times it depends. Like, if you have it single, like that, it's kind of bendy, so I feel like it's very flexible though, so it's not bad. It's very like, I guess it's really good cardstock because it's so malleable, flexible I should say. Yeah, this is the Goose Tarot. Let me know what you think. I'll have um, my last unboxing linked here if you'd like to check that out. Like and subscribe if you'd like. I hope you're taking care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!